All right, let's talk about Christina Applegate and the last animal. We all have last animal, and that's the one that really gets you. That's the one to focus on, that's the one to work on. Yes, single deciding, double deciding, you know, whether you're an EP, IJ, the temperament or whatever, that's a big one. That's gonna be where your triggering is, but uh, what's gonna run your life in a big damn circle is that last animal, or the, the lack of you working on it, right? So Christina Applegate, who does that look like? I know, I know, kinda looks like a shanty. Uh, a lot of the shanties come in blonde. Uh, we, we do see that uh, certain types do seem to come from Certain type of places of the world, I guess. And we'll see this clustering in type, that certain types of health issues will uh, cluster in type. And no, we don't have all the data on that. And no, am I? do I want to get on the data on that? I don't, I don't have the systems for that yet. So I have uh, a kind of a bottleneck of lack of STNT structure to log all this data, but it's there and I see it. And the way to think about it is um, if you see a disorder or health issue or mental issue or physical issue, whatever, there's always a statistical number to that. So when you're looking at yourself or others that are the same or similar type, whatever you have, there's gonna be a 12% chance, a 37% chance, an 80% chance that uh, people of your same exact type are struggling with that same thing. So it'll be some form of clustering that really is not complete and total randomness. All I'm seeing is just a bunch of clustering in uh, varying degrees, uh, and there's more confusing information for you, just for all the observers. Uh, so going back to Deciderland, who, uh, yes, as far, as far as I can tell, she's a shanty. And I do believe her to be a sleep last shanty, and I think uh, we can see that pretty good. Uh, let me just talk about that for two seconds. The, the top three animals. So it's like, it's like Savior 1, Savior 2, Demon 1, and then Drop Off. And that seems to be the, the case for the functions, as well as the animals. So that third animal, even though it's technically a demon, you're kind of getting a passing grade on it. Same with your whatever you have double in the middle. So she's going to be getting a passing grade on NI. You know, not the best, but, you know, passable. You're going to be blowing a fuse on that last function and that last animal. So when you have a sleep last play EJ, you're kind of tripling down all in one area. You know, so it's going to be hard for her to see herself, hard for her to take care of herself, hard for her to remember her known patterns, hard for her to be aware that she's sick or hurt or injured, because why? Because she's gonna be looking outward, doubly, looking at everybody else and being highly influenced by them. That's why you see a lot of these types going, I'm extremely drained and introverted, and I don't really like people. It's like, well, yeah, I mean, if I had double activated DE, I wouldn't like people either, right? Think about that. She walks into a room and she's affected by everybody and that's gonna drain her. Not me, I just block the tribe out, right? It makes sense why you see so many extroverts typing themselves as introverts, and understandably so, you know what I'm saying? So you've got that going on, and now it's gonna be hard for her to just get down to her known repetitive patterns of herself, all right? She can probably see the known repetitive patterns of you, right? But of herself, that's gonna be hard for her to see, right? So what happens in life? Eventually life hits you right in that fucking sore spot, right where it's the hardest thing to get. So for her, it's uh, getting MS, getting a bunch of health issues, now it's not about, it's not anybody's fault. It's not, see, if it was somebody else's fault, oh man, she's fucking home free, right? Because if it's somebody else, oh, I get them and that, that, that. She's just built for, if the problem is out there and it's random and it's not repetitive, oh man, she can get all of those. But once it's a repetitive life problem at her, she's just going like this. There's four different kinds of MS. So um, not everyone is the same. Everyone's symptoms are different. Everyone's experience with it is different. Every day is different. different. Um, so that is just so that people understand that because people are like, well, why are you like this one? And you're feeling better like this one. And it's like everyone has a different experience with it. Um, so that's just a preface. Um, shooting the show was the hardest thing I'd ever done in my life because I was diagnosed during shooting and um, I didn't know what was happening to me. I, I couldn't walk. I They had to use a wheelchair to get me to set. Um, I was freaking out until someone was like, you need an MRI. And then I found out on a Monday after work that I had MS, you know, a disease that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. And then I started thinking about the last four years and I had very small symptoms. And I think that's important for people, you know, like, let's not all be hypochondriacs and run to the doctor when our, our leg gets weak. <laughs> but, but be aware. That happened to me four years ago where we were on set and I'd go like, ooh, I think I'm tired, you know? Um, so it, it presented itself like a few years ago until it just got as bad as it, it did. Notice the sleep last. She's doing sleep, she's processing. Yeah, there was clues. She's putting together the dots. Last, later, right? I, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Like I am really seeing that and I'm saying this to kind of give your own self a break in life. You have sleep, you just have it last. I have consume, I consume, last. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a getting in your mindset to like, hey, keep going in life, keep growing, keep working on it. You'll have your last animal, your last function, you can do it. You're just gonna do it last. 
probably when you're 50. Celebrities are so great because their life is out in the open and you're seeing them over decades. And you know, some of them make it through and they're able to kind of get to that last animal, that last function, get that processing, right? Uh, this next clip, watch this. You're gonna have uh, Megan, why do I wanna, yeah, Megan. I always wanna call her Megan Lavota. It's, it's Megan, Megan Kelly, no, Megan, Ke Megan Lavota, Kelly, Kelly Clarkson. Damn it, I always get her mixed up. So Kelly Clarkson, who's not Megan, uh, it's funny that she is going to interpret this through thoughts, feelings and thoughts. So they're, they're going to talk about, you know, hey, so you, you have these bad thoughts and then the feel, right? So you got the TI, the feelings, and then Applegate here is going to be like, no, it's the other way around. It's it's the feelings are down here and the thinking is here. So watch, watch that switch through with the ENFJ and the ENTJ. Going through any kind of grief, like I've gone through grief and it's like sometimes... Emotions. For me, it's nice to have something to be productive with or something to do. So I'm not just sitting in my thoughts. Um, thoughts. Are you like that? Do you like okay. to be a, a little busy? I, I've probably been going through grief and trauma my whole life and acting was the place that I got to go to not feel it, you know? So Doing, I think that uh, feeling. I went through many breakups during television shows. I went through trauma. I went through deaths. I went through cancer. I went through all this stuff. And I always had a place to go to kind of not deal with it. And the beauty of Dead to Me is that it gave me almost this weird platform of dealing with it. Right. where I didn't have to be on all the time and I didn't have to make all the jokes and I could fall apart in a scene. And it was like me, it was my soul actually falling apart. And, you know, unfortunately in front of the world, but it was cathartic in a, in a beautiful way. Yes, yes. Remember the Shani? That was the number one, uh, the, the singer lady. I forget her name, but, uh, you know, big queen lady. She's the exact same type of Shani and a number one. And she talked about the exact same thing. And we've seen this several times with celebrities. A lot of times, you know, the shanty types or, or or people that would say save your play. We've seen this kind of happening to a lot of people. So the save your place, they're like, uh, yeah, you know, I was forced to process. I, 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 I randomly, I OE randomly fell into this job. Complete coincidence. Now you just let the years roll on and eventually that'll happen. And then the hard time that I was going through that I wasn't owning and that I couldn't sleep energy see, but this job forced me to deal with it. Right? It's just complete and total random chance. And that's, that's, that's how anything great comes into my life. Complete and total random chance, right? So eventually, you let the years roll on, and you're going to get your deck of cards where your biggest problem and some random shit out there is going gonna, is gonna to help you do it, right? Here's what I was thinking about real fucking life, kid, is that it's messy, that it's dirty. A lot of it has to do with luck. So you kind of want to increase your luck by you know going out there and getting the reps and stuff. And so if you are sleep last, with a lot, which, which a lot of people are, like sleep last and blast last seems to be the most common one. So a lot of people are sleep last. And what I'm seeing is just do it last. Like make a mess. You're going to have to do the play energy to get to the sleep. 